Hello everyone, today I'm just going to be showing you how to get started using the WordPress for Unity Kits. As you can see, I currently have an empty project with absolutely nothing in it. So let's get started by importing the kits. I always install Core separately. Um, it's entirely optional, but I just prefer to do it that way. Login is very important to install first because everything else relies on it. Make sure it's installed first and then after it so you can install all the other packages in whatever order you choose. I just installed the data kit. I can now install the timer kit if I want to. Um, you could have done this in the other way around. doesn't matter. Um, okay, so now we've got my kits installed. First thing we need to do now is find the plugin, uh, the prefab, and give it your website address. Now, depending on whether or not you're going to be working online or offline, this tick box is very important. If it's on, it uses this online URL field. If it's off, it uses the offline URL field. So in this case, I'm just going to turn in, I'm going to turn it off, and I'm going to give it my local host address. There we go. Alright, so we're configured here now. Now the next thing we need to do is go to the website and actually install the packages. Now the easiest way to do that is to look here for the plugins folder and just say show in explorer. Go in there and there are all your plugins. Right, now go to your website, go to your dashboard, go to the plugins folder um, menu and click on add new. Again, as before, everything relies on the login kit so do that one first install it and activate it and once you've done that you'll see you now have a wuss menu appear here on the side there we go if you click on that it'll show you a bunch of settings just go to the website at www.mybadstudios.com and there you will find the detailed description of what all this stuff does. Um, notice also that there's only a WUS menu at the moment, which is basically the default. But now when I go back to my plugins and I install the data kit, uh, I've got a plugin. Eventually, Plugin. You'll notice that the new plugin has now registered itself here as well. So to all the other plugins that you install, once you've activated them, they will register themselves here. Now, normally, in the old Unity, uh, the old version of the system, you would be able to just go back into Unity and start working. But with this new system, you first have to create a game so that you can get a game ID. As you can see here, I've already started creating one, uh, and that's giving me the game ID 8. Let me show you how to do that. You can either go, just go over here, all games, and then say add new. And under add new, just give your game name, description, and so on and so forth. But let me continue with the one that I was busy with. Uh, let's go to Shadow Dragons. Okay, so there's my game name, there's my game description. Next thing you need to do is to give it a banner. Now you have a choice between using horizontal or vertical banners. Uh, so you can upload both and then just change your mind later on about which one to use. But in this case, I'm just going to go with a tall banner only. So first thing I need to do is just import a graphic for that. So for that, I'm just going to go to my desktop. I'm going to use that for my vertical banner. There we go. Now, I need a featured image. And for that, I'm just going to use this little desktop the graphic I have for Overwatch. Love Overwatch. Viva! Okay, so there we go. We now have a featured image, a title, a description, and a banner. Which means we are now done. Uh, let's just quickly hit update, publish. There we go. So now, when you go back to the WUS menu, this is now related to game ID number 8. Now, that is important because when you come into Unity and you use my kits, everything has to do with game ID. 
This is how you identify one game from the next. If you make Pac-Man, Donkey Kong, and Space Invaders, you can have all three on the same website, using the same database, using the same plugins that you just installed now. You don't have to install them once for everyone. Just install it once and it's there for all your games. But inside Unity, you have to identify each game, and that is the game ID field. Now, as you've seen, uh, Shadow Dragons has given a game ID of 8. So I just type in 8 here for game ID. And now the two are linked. That simple. Right, now what to show you? What to show you first? Uh, okay, first let's create a new scene. File, new scene. And let's drag in the login prefab. First, go to Game Object, Create UI, Create a Canvas. Everything needs a canvas. Okay, now, where is that prefab? There we go, little prefab, buddy. Uh, drag it onto the canvas. And because it's already got your website details in there, you're ready to get started. You can hit Play now, and just go Login, type in your details, Admin. I'm not going to tell you my password, but you can guess. Uh, type remember me, click login, and there we go. I am now logged into my website. Um, if I can go to stop and get play again, it'll automatically remember me. I'm automatically logged in anyway. So now that the game already knows who I am, let's go and do the data demo. Uh, someone asked me the other day, so I'm just going to show you that as well. Um, Where is that now? Here we go. Now that you've created all the stuff and Unity is set up, WordPress is set up, if you go into your database, you will find here something that says um, WP, WordPress underscore WUS data. That is where all the data from the data could get stored. And if you go in there, you'll see there's kind of nothing there. I haven't stored anything so there is nothing there so now when you come here and you click on the data tab you'll see no games with any stored data found because nothing has been stored so now let's go into the demo go to the canvas and let's just drag in that prefab again there we go notice all my settings are still set because I set it on the prefab itself so I log in it remembers me and it brings me to here so on this screen it actually tells you click this button to get all the data from the database but because we don't have anything yet it's going to ask you there is nothing there click here to generate it instead so I do that and now there's data so now if you go back into your PHP my admin and you browse again you'll see there's now data inside that uh, table so now once again if you go back here and you click on the data it now actually shows you stuff global data has that and you for game one there is now this stored for that play, um, user admin for game one has got that data as is visible here so as you can see everything happens immediately it's live it's it's immediate um, and that actually is that. It's that's how easy it is to do, to use. Um, but let's quickly show you how to use this in a scene of your own to do something unique, something special to your game. Um, let's quickly create a new scene. New scene, and let's call it. Let's just save it quickly and call it random scene. There we go. Now, and in here again let's just load a canvas um, do an image where's an image image there we go uh, what can we add here what do we have uh, let's just do that there we go that's that this is my random scene now let's make another new scene file new scene again create a canvas Game object UI 
Where's that canvas? There's that canvas. Uh, let's get the prefab, drop that in there. There we go. So now what we've done is we've created a new scene, which I'm just going to save by the way. Uh, all right. So now we have a new scene that as soon as you hit play is going to connect to your website, see and uh, remember you, and just log in immediately. But now what? Now that you've logged in, now what? Now the login screen is just gone. How do you connect this up to your game to make it do something special? So for that, you just need to create a new script. Let's just call it demo one. And let's go into that script and let's see what it does. Probably should have opened that window up sooner. We'll get there eventually, I promise. Okay, so first thing you need to do is tell it to actually find my stuff. Next, all you need to do is say, tell it that as soon as the login kit succeeded in logging in, call function do something. Now function do something, let's quickly create that. This is the format that you need to use for any server response. Um, every time you call the server with any function in all my kits, it will always send a response, either an error or a normal response. Normal response will go to the function you specified and will come in the form of a CML object. Uh, did I do something wrong? That. There we go. So now here, let's say, Debug.log log in was successful. And then let's load the new scene. Okay, I'm going to save that script and we're now done. So now all we need to do is go back into Unity, take that new script we just created and drag it onto anything. It doesn't really matter where. And there we go. Now when we hit play, oh, my bad, my bad. Uh, and there we go we hit play it finds you it logs you in it goes to the next scene and that's it it really is that simple i don't know what else there is to say but if you have any uh, any questions 